Welcome to TRM's tutorial on Maximo Anywhere configuration. Today, I'm going to configure the Work Execution app to include hazards and precautions. First, we'll clone the Work Execution app and call it Hazard and Precautions. Using TRM's Anywhere Builder, we are walked through this process using a simple wizard. We just enter the new app ID and then the app name, which will appear in the help dialog and at the login page. This will take a minute. I'll just speed this process up. Once it's done copying the files and making the necessary modifications, it will then build the app, confirm that everything went through smoothly. Then we open up the main editor page for the app. From here, we will then launch and preview This will run our app inside of Eclipse in a development mode so that we can test to make sure that the clone was successful. Now, to see what the out-of-the-box app looks like, let's navigate down and find our tasks row. Notice that there is no hazards. We'll add one there. To start, we'll open up the Import Max from Maximo dialog. This gives us a list of objects. We're going to so set, select the Woe Safety link, then the Work Order resource. Then, we will select the field that we want to import, in this case, the hazard ID. Later, we will import other fields. Then we select the relationship that will relate the woe safety link to the work order. We'll then make sure that we're doing a one-to-many relationship. Now we're updating Maximo. This configures the necessary components of Maximo so that it will be synchronized with Maximo Anywhere at this point. And the correct data can then be brought down from Maximo for the mobile application. The last step is to update our app. Now let's verify that the correct relationship was made and our app was modified accurately. We see that there is a relationship underneath the work order resource and a hazard ID field underneath that. We'll save our app. It saves the XML back to the app XML. And now we're going to import the other fields. We did this next because we needed to make sure those fields were exported as part of the object structure. We'll go down, we'll select the hazard description, hazard type, and long description. Run through the wizard quickly because we don't have to configure Maximo anymore. We just need to synchronize with Maximo and then up, make the modifications to our app. Looking back at our relationship, we now see our fields. We'll save the app again. Then, we're going to add the UI side of this. We'll first na need to navigate to the page we want to modify. So we're going to the Woe Detail view. We'll find the task row. And then we'll click through, just like we would in the front end. This transitions us to the task view. We're going to copy and paste this task view, and then modify that view. So it looks very similar to the task view, except it's showing the hazard details. Yep. 
We'll start by removing the unnecessary components. And changing the label of the view. We'll also not want to show the overflow button since there are no actual actions here. Next we'll need to modify the list so it points to the correct data. Right now it's pointing to the task list attribute. We need it to point to the relationship we just created, the woe safety link. This is a complex attribute, so we want it to point to this name. We'll copy and paste this into that properties dialog. We'll also remove the transition to since we do not want each row transitioning to the task detail view. Now that we set the correct resource, we'll now reconfigure the attributes to point to the hazard attributes. At the top will show the hazard ID, in the middle will show the description, and then at the bottom will show the hazard type. We're saving our app. Now we need to modify our sort by list. We'll want to make our sort by be the hazard ID instead of the predefined task set task ID. Delete the old one. Save our view. And we'll want to go back in. And now we're going to need to link our hazard view back to the row, to a row that we're going to create. First, we're going to double check our uh, required resources. Um, notice that we need to make sure that we're requiring the complex attribute that we just added to the properties of the list. In this case, the oil safety link. We also don't need the task list attribute to be required, so we'll delete that. We'll save our app. And now navigate back to our work order detail page. Now we're going to add our row for hazards. We want to add it right below tasks, so we'll copy the tasks row and paste it. And now we'll modify this row. Use the hazards label. We don't have a size attribute. We'll create that in a minute. So we'll get rid of this one right now. And we'll just drag and drop our view over our row to have it transition to that new one. save our app. Now, let's go ahead and create the size attribute. This is a calculated field, so we're going to create a local attribute and just call it Whoa Safety Link List Size. This field will get set like the other list size uh, fields. Task has one as well, it's called Task List Size. So we'll just go to the JavaScript code where they do the exact same thing and add our attributes to their lists. We'll open up the on init. We'll open up the woe detail handler. And these are the two arrays that we need to tweak. Oops, kind of scroll to the bottom there accidentally. Let me go back up to the top. Great. Go to the end of this list. We'll add our newly created local attribute, list size. And in the list below it, array below it, we'll add our complex attribute, name. Save it, save our app. 
and we'll go ahead and find that local attribute we created and just drag and drop it into the location we want, which is right here in this row. And we'll gotta make it read only like all the other ones. Great. Looks pretty good. Let's preview. We're now building the new modifications that were made to our app XML. And it automatically opens up my Chrome instance so we can preview the new app as it would appear on the mobile device. First we'll look at a record that has by default no hazards. The first record in the list. And we can see no records. Great. Now we're going to go want to go to one that has one configured. So an out of the box one that has one configured is work order 1000. Go into here. You'll notice that we have a row now that says hazards. There's two of them. Click on there. It shows both of our hazards. That's it. We're done. Thanks for watching our tutorial. See our other tutorials for information on how else Anywhere Builder can help you configure Maximo Anywhere.